I think that when most people hear the word butterfly, they think of the monarch, the orange and the black and the stained glass looking wings. They migrate all the way from Central America where they overwinter uh, north towards Canada. So they come through Maryland and the Chesapeake Bay region every summer. They're definitely a species of concern. And one of the main reasons that their species is declining is due to habitat loss. They can only lay their eggs on milkweed. It's the only food that monarch caterpillars can eat. And they also need other nectaring species in order to feed along the way. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service are the experts on the seeds and on growing out milkweed and on monitoring and understanding the habitat. The seeds are from Poplar Island. We collected them in the fall. Masonville Cove is one of the nation's first urban wildlife refuge designated by U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. This is kind of like the gem of South Baltimore. It's a hidden gem for sure. Living Classrooms Foundation, they are responsible for helping grow out the milkweed in this beautiful greenhouse that we're in. The National Wildlife Federation and the National Aquarium have been working throughout all of Baltimore for quite some time, creating native habitat through residential gardens and church gardens and community gardens. What we're doing today is we're planting a ton of milkweed. What we're working to do is create a full-fledged education program to really empower the students to take ownership of these green spaces and understand the why behind these gardens. I think the idea is that monarchs can be where people are and there is green space and there is wildlife in urban areas. When you build it, they will come. Once you start planting, local species start coming back. <laughs>